Welcome to my house. Rubby Buckle here, and you're fishing with Uncle Buck. We are about to head to New Waterway. We're headed over to Alaska. We're going over to Cannon Creek. And in this video, it's just going to be like I've been doing the tours before we do the mission videos. Well, this is going to be a little tour. Unfortunately, for this one here, we're not allowed to have boats. <laughs> so, we're walking. All right, guys, we're not talking about any fishing here. Let's get to this thing. Let's pull her up here and see where we're at. All right, what do we got here? Alaska, Kennet Creek, Taming the King. You got three, three places that you can spawn in. This guy here at the top of the map. We're looking at pink salmon, long nose sucker, chum salmon, Alaska blackfish. Drop down. Angling the Middle Earth. We got there. Chum Salmon, Dolly Varden, the Pink Salmon, Chinook, and the Blackfish. And our third spot is the Hunter's Cabin. Over there is where you can grab the Northern Pike, the Coho, the Chinook, the Chum, and the Long Nose Sucker. So, we're going to take a look at all these places. I'm going to point out some good places to fish. However, before we leave, what I want to tell you guys, this is another one of those wonderful bait shops. Baits that you must have. Bullet spinner. A medium spoon. Um, what else do I have on my list here? Dragonflies. Shiners. Shrimp and mayflies take them with you you know you can't get them there let's go take a look at the shop i'm just going to click on baits i want all baits everything that they have <laughs> red worms for 75 bucks dragonflies for 675 and the spawn sacks here are 1350. yeah Okay, fellas, remember to bring your bait. All right, well, let's jump down there. And we're gonna take a look. We're gonna take a look. We're gonna take a walk around. I'm gonna show you where I like to fish. I haven't fished every bit of this waterway yet. This is actually, I think maybe the third time, third time that I've been here. I did the tournament here, I did the missions here, and then I was here one day, two days already. This is the beginning of day three. So, I was here two days, fishing, a lot of nice fish, got me some unis and trophies here, forgot how nice it was a fisher, so with that, let's jump down there, let's go, let's go take a walk around, I think I went to the wrong place, yep, alright guys, I wanted to start at the top, but we're going to start at the bottom. Let me get rid of that. Fishkin pole, the hunter's cabin, we are here. This is what you have. A lot of nice places to fish. And the grizzly bear is always watching you. <laughs> now what's nice about this, as you can see, we have flow here, not, not too shabby right now, at this point. Now the largest place you can walk around, you can walk right through the water. Notice I've got some, I've got a few things set up here, in this spot over here. I like to park it right about here and go at it. Now, what do we got there? Let's take a look, fellas. We better open this up a little bit. We can point them out. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this has been happening lately. Yeah, if I go try, try to go too far, it's glitching out. So here's what we're looking at out there in front of us. Unique chum salmon. Oh, 
unique chump salmon is probably the same one. There it is. Unique pink salmon. That's what we wanted. There's a trophy pink salmon. Unique chinook. Another chinook. And a trophy. All in that area. So right here, <clears throat> if you were paying attention, you can go back and take a look. Slow the video down, you can see what I caught all these guys on. A lot of bullet spinners. Medium spoons. So over here, off this point, this is where you catch the Alaskan back fish and the long nose sucker now you can't walk any further out that way and this pretty much gets you right here but you can come up around here now and we'll head down this way Talk about flow, fellas. Where to fish? In front of the rock or directly behind the rock? And this is pretty much do ya. That's as far down this way as we can truck. Buck. Okay. Now we're going to take a little walk down here, because this is, down here is the only place that I've ever been able to snag up the northern pike. I've, I've tried to fish for them all over this place. I'm sure there's another spot. Any of you guys out there are catching them somewhere else. Drop me a line, drop me a comment at the end of this. Alright, there's a reason why I'm walking down all this way. And it's because there's two reasons to be down here at the end. One is the northern pike. And the second reason is that you can catch almost every type of salmon down at the end of this map. So what I normally do, if you take a look at that little indate, indentation right there, if you can see the, you get down here to where the stones are, the larger stones are, and then there's this little job over right here. You park up right here, put your rod stand out here, and you fire down into there, you will catch this bottom rods, because the flow is so much around on this. If, if you're going to fish with float rods, you need to do one rod, keep it in your hand and work it. And and it's and you can fish them. I fish for for a lot of the stuff here. The bull trout I fish for a with a float rod after. Uh, that's just the way I like to, I, the, the way I've had best success catching that, that bull trout. But you just throw straight out there and you're going to catch all the salmon. Now, if you walk down here a little bit further, I usually park up right about here, and I throw straight down there, and, and I drag a casting spoon right along the edges of the bank, and you bring it straight towards us, bring it straight back. And you'll catch the northern pike there. Not a problem. Like I said, right out in there, 
and that all will catch pretty much all the salmon. All right, now that takes us down to here. That's as far as we can go. So basically, we spawn in here. We, we went up here to the right as far as we could. We took a look there. And then we walked all the way down to the left as far as we can go, and that's where we're at now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little trip over here now, and we'll go fishing here. All right, now this is one of the places, look at, there's mountains. Looks pretty good. Well, I like to fish here all around these rocks, guys. This, this is loaded with fish. Just loaded with it. You can catch just about everything you want. All, all your tight, all your salmon you can catch right here. Alright, it's all how you attack them and the um, bull trout here too. Alright, so I usually like to set up shop right about here somewhere. Somewhere around in here. That way I can hit the two out there, the two in the middle, and the one out there. So, here's the one, two, three, four, five, six marker boys I have here. I'll give you the scoop on them. We look to the left. Trophy pink salmon there. We've got a unique chum there. That's unique. All right. Come on. There he is. There he is in the unique. Pink salmon. Oh. Oh. Ah, let's still do it. That's a unique snook. Trophy snook. Unique snook. There's one down there. Down there. Hmm. Don't know what I marked that one for. Obviously something that I caught with a spinner tail on. I wonder how that happens. I wonder how I got no fish data. Oh well. So that's what we got there, fellas. That's some good fishing right there. Pretty much does it. Oh, I remember what that is. If you, it's right there. See the water blowing up right now? I mark this spot. This is just a spot. There's a there's a lot of fish here. You can catch just about all of them in that one spot. That's why I marked that. I remember now that I'm here. <laughs> All right. And that's as far as you can go there. And right there, that's you can bang. Dolly bar in uh, that hole, little hole right there. And you gotta be careful with here. <clears throat> Don't come up to the water when you're fishing here and set your rod stands up close. You'll lose fish because they're they're there. They're that close. They'll hit right there. You should. I always stand back a little bit. If I'm gonna fish here, I'll, I'll throw back. I'll stand back here. It makes it a lot easier to hit that spot too. And if you're right up here on top of it, it's pretty tough to get up to get it triggered and released in time unless you're flipping and there's a lot of current here like I said so flipping stick doesn't really work well here all righty and 
this is about where you spawn in at. When you go here. And you can walk this. We, we went right basically all the way up there as far as we can go. Now you you can walk this all 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 the way down to about to about here. And I'll show you. And it's just a matter of and that's all it is. You, you see what you see what we got here. And that's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna have. It's the whole way down across here. Now if you go down this side, you can't cut over. Because the water's deep enough here that it won't let you cut over into these islands if you walk the whole way down here. And it stays it stays deep enough between you and them down here that you can't get across. However, once you get over this left channel here, then you can walk all of that out there. You can walk all of that all over. And this just basically continues on down to here. And this is as far as you can go down this far. And there's fish right here off of these logs. You can catch fish right in there. Not a problem there. So with that, let's go ahead and well, tell it for Thought he'd beat me over. And here. Now this puts you down. Right in the middle. Of no man's land. Now, I find this rather difficult to fish. It's very shallow. Um, there are blackfish here. I don't hunt the blackfish, they don't bring me enough money or XP, however, I have found, take you there, this spot here, now, you don't want to fish it from here, it's very difficult to hit, fish can see you, come down here, around this little bush, set up shop here, throw it that hole and that's another no data because I just marked it and you'll catch um, the chums over there I, I pulled a chum out of there I pulled a coho out of there so that to me that seems to be the only spot I found and it's not very deep I think it's like a two feet deep something like that But the rest of it, I have fished a lot of this, and it, with not much success, to tell you the truth, not much success here. I mean, it's, it's very shallow, you can walk it everywhere. I mean, I've floated stuff between all these channels, even looking for the blackfish. Very few bites at all, but you're more than welcome to hit it, fellas. Like I said, and you can get down this way so you can get farther down if you if you're walking over here this is the only way to do it and I'll take you to the end of the map and that will be Kenny Creek Catch fish right out there. Caught quite a few of the salmon right there. And actually, what I did was I turned around here and I set up my rod stand right here at this point. And I fired straight out there in the middle with a couple of bottom rods and then worked a medium spoon and a bullet spinner 
for a while and, and caught some good fish. Caught some nice sized fish down here. But again, it's easier to come all the way down this way and fire uphill and pull your lures into the current. They react better and you don't have to you don't have to swim them as fast. So that pretty much takes care of Cannon Creek, Alaska. And like I said, fellas, there's there's plenty of fish to be had everywhere. Um, but when we first spawned in over here at Middle Earth and we took that right and all these rocks right through here, just you can just bang everything. And you can get everything you need right here. Big salmon. All through there, the unis and trophies. Be careful if you're running a spinning rod. These guys run hard. Don't use your right, right mouse button so much as far as trying to hold them up because of the way they shake and fight, they'll spit the hook a lot. So you keep keep pressure on them, keep reeling, and, and touch that right mouse button to change their direction and get them coming at you. And you'll be able to land them quicker and you won't lose as many. <laughs> That's for sure. This is a fun this is a fun place to fish. It really is. Um, there's a lot of walking involved. But like I said, if you get to the you get up here when we first came in, get yourself set up right right up in here for day one. And you just start hitting these rocks, all through these rocks, all out through there. And just throw them around. You'll land a lot of big fish, you'll have a lot of fun. That's for sure. Alright guys, I hope you got something out of that. I hope, I, you know, I got a couple guys that said that they really like the tour videos that I'm doing. It gives them a chance to get prepared prior to, prior to going out onto one of these waterways. And... You know, I've already been to these bait, these local shops, and they can, it, it can really piss you off when you get there and, and you don't realize that, man, they got nothing. You run it. So, you don't ever want to run it. If you notice with me in my inventory, I had enough of that happen to me. So, if I look at my inventory, guys, um, I make sure because I don't count on the local bait shops. I really don't. Because normally they're way more expensive. Um, However, unless you're at Blue Crab, now, if you're at Blue Crab, that's where I stock up on my shiners because that's the cheapest place on the map here uh, on the globe that you can purchase shiners. But I, I stay stocked up, fellas. You just, you got to bring, that's one thing that's important. Make that a priority that you set your tackle box up and you and you have it right to bring, bring the baits that you need to go fish or you'll get a, you'll have a frustrating day. <laughs> I didn't do it again. There we go. Like I said, it's all about the bait. Make sure you have enough bait. Because they don't sell the stuff in the local shops. Bring what you're going to need. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna do exploration one. We're gonna do the salmon run. And then of course there's the caviar bait. And then you catch the monster here and he is a monster. The Alaskan albino blackfish. I think he's all about three pounds on this guy. But I'll show you where to catch him too. So hang around. We got two more videos coming up. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know that you know the deal, guys. Watch that like button over there. Hit the subscribe button, and you can follow me on Facebook. I do a little more on Facebook. I have photo albums for each of these waterways. I, <clears throat> so if you're if it's your first trip out there, you want to take a look at the, you know, hit my Facebook thing up. It'll give you a lot of good pictures of the kind of fish that you can catch. I have a photo album for each of the waterway. And I also post my videos up the, over there. But uh, then you can hit the YouTube videos up. 
We'll see you later. Remember, never ever give up the fight.